what's going on YouTube? Uh, Nick here again, the Flexible Dieter. Um, it's a beautiful Sunday here in Sydney. Uh, we are gonna go hit one of Sydney's best gyms um, called Titan Fitness over in Coogee. So the other side of other side of Sydney, other side of the Harbour Bridge. Basically dropped Alice off at one of her friend's place for a brunch. We've got about two hours now to hit some legs. So I will try and film as much as I can, show you guys this, this wicked gym. I've never been here before, um, so let's get it. Moving like the speed of sound. So random outfit of the day. We're doing a Nike, just a hoodie. I've got a like a green Lululemon um, kind of tidy shirt on. I um, don't know what it's called to be honest. Um, got the new little new Lululemon tights and then some Minimus, but it is leg day, so I want to be as low to the ground as I can. I'd like to train barefoot if I could, but the Minimus do give you a little bit of that, little bit of grip, a little bit of support as well. So coming up to the gym here now. Yeah, this looks awesome. It's nice and open upstairs. Quite a big building. Oh yeah, back again. Uh, here we go with the voiceover. Uh, I'll come and go from this one. I want to let this footage kind of roll because this was a really intense, high volume workout. So as you can see here, warming up, opening up the hips, starting with my pre-activation for this day, which is just some leg extensions, high rep, three sets of 20, quite a light weight to be honest. I don't want to fatigue anything, just more get it warmed up for the, the volume on volume that is this workout. And then from here, I move into the first movement which is four sets of 15. Uh, we're building up to four sets of 15 on the hack squat facing in. So first movement here, four sets of 15, trying to work with some heavier loads here and go to a fatigue of about nine out of 10. So really, really pushing myself a bit more. Um, this one, I take a wider stance, I face away from the machine. Um, it just feels better on the back. My back can travel where it wants. I still take a deep breath into the core, let the hips drop down and then drive up through that midfoot really Really feel this one in the quads and the glutes and even a little bit of hamstrings on this. Why wait to say, at least I did it my way. Why wait to face, but in my heart I understand I made my move and it was all about you. So exercise two and three here guys, basically we've got the lying hamstring curl. Uh, this was only my second set here I filmed, I did four sets of 12, they got harder as I went obviously. Um, and then I worked on some some carbs, kind of to give the, the upper leg a little bit of a rest, did four sets of 20 here on the carbs. And as you guys know, I like to do two, two calf days, one with four sets of 20 and the other with just three sets of 10. Um, and just so I push, pushed away on one day and the other day I chased that chase that pump and try and get in a lot lot more volume with the 80 reps total. At least I did it my way, I way too fast, but in my heart I understand I made my move and it was all about you, know I feel so And then from here it was basically just building on that momentum, keeping the volume high. I actually kept the speed relatively fast from here on out. I did walking lunges and I did four sets of 20 steps. These were brutal. The quads were fried, the hamstring and the glute tine was, was cooked. Um, four sets of 20 reps here. Then I went back to the leg extension machine, which I started on, and I did my heavier sets there. We did four sets of 12. We did some lower back extensions and some more calves to cap off this workout. Quite a few exercises, quite a lot of volume, and it was good to do for the deload week, which, which commenced uh, on the Tuesday after this workout. So always good to finish a, a good little training block with some some heavy loads and some uh, a lot of volume as well. So you know you're gonna get some recovery in the week to come. So wrapping it all up here, you can see doing some lower back extensions on this glute ham raise machine when my feet are a little bit higher. This forces a bit more recruitment of the hamstrings and glutes and it feels really nice. So I do this twice a week and I'm gonna try and keep it, keep using this exact machine as well. Uh, from here, I did some calf press just to finish off the calves, straight legged, three sets of 12 reps, and that was it for this high volume, intense leg workout. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, got plenty more to come, so peace out, see you in the next one.